Today, I'd like to talk to you about IT News and Events, uh, a service that is available for IT recruitment firms. Fundamentally, it's a weekly curated IT newsletter service um, targeted at enterprise IT professionals. In other words, the kind of people that IT recruiters want to be in front of. It consists of three components. There's an email newsletter, which is delivered to your contacts from your email address. Each newsletter is custom built for each subscriber based upon their choice of sections. And there will be a masthead that is specific to you with your picture and contact information. The articles in the email newsletter are curated for mainstream IT publications, published to an internal audience, and then crowd selected. So these are the most clicked on articles that a large number of IT professionals are looked at. Also included in the service is a website or a microsite that can be integrated under your domain name. For example, if you called the newsletter IT News, then it would appear as IT News dot whatever your domain name is. The website also includes a registration form so that new people can register. You'll be sent an email message letting you know that a, <clears throat> that a new person has subscribed. The website has longer versions of the articles that appear in the email. We also provide a management tool. Each salesperson has a unique account and that person can manage their own subscribers that can be added one at a time or imported from a spreadsheet or um, the salesperson can give uh, their contact a unique URL. And when that person clicks on the URL and subscribes, they become the contact or subscriber of that salesperson. And with our team edition, multiple uh, members of the same company can be grouped together and subscribers can be transferred from one team member to another. So the service basically is a curated enterprise IT content service. It's about enhancing the relationship with your IT contacts, whether those are hiring managers uh, or their partners or their um, uh, professionals who you want to stay in front of. It helps you earn a trusted advisor reputation. You know or seem to know what's going on in the market and is tailored for each contact. The news is divided into logical sections and each subscriber can choose which sections are included so they can keep uh, uh, receiving just the news that they're most interested in. Uh, the scheduling is automatic, it's weekly, and it allows you to stay top of mind. Um, on average, uh, you shouldn't expect people to open much more than one or two issues per month. However, being in front of your key contacts once or twice a month is a pretty nice thing to have. So we provide, uh, as I said, a web account for you to manage your contacts. The delivery uh, is from your email address and is automatic. You don't have to do anything. But because the newsletter is coming from your email address, the bounce messages come to you and you can deal with them appropriately. And you may now care that someone is on vacation. If someone has left and their your email address is now user unknown, you can take the appropriate steps to find out what happened to that person. Uh, it's an opportunity to replace them and so forth. Some other features that are worth emphasizing is this is a, um, a very aggressively priced solution and it can scale up from an individual sales rep who can have the service for about $33 a week up to a team edition where the team edition works out to be somewhere around $13 or $14 per sales rep per week. And um, there are some additional features in the team version where you can have uh, sections of your own. In the case of an IT recruitment firm, that uh, additional section could, for example, list a number of uh, hot or key open positions that you're actively trying to recruit for. That section can also be placed uh, low down in the order so that uh, recipients of the newsletter don't feel that you're pushing open positions on them. However, as people scroll through the newsletter, read through the news, and then they'll come to the list of open positions, which they may or may not be interested in. It's a nice soft sell. Here on the left, we're looking at, um, at uh, how the newsletter looks in the email. Um, you notice there's a masthead for each person. In this case, it's my masthead. So you have to imagine that my contact information would be replaced with yours, your logo, your picture, your contact information. Each subscriber, as I mentioned, can turn off a given section, the CXO section, the CRM section, probably a good candidate for uh, one that people would turn off if they're not interested in CRM and storage and so forth. Not every section has content every week and there's quite a, a good variety of uh, sections. 
periodically new sections are added as technology evolves. For example, uh, last year a blockchain uh, section was added. The owner of the team edition uh, can choose which sections are available and uh, to all the subscribers and in what order. So for example, uh, an administrator of a team edition might decide that based on what they know of their customers, the CRM section might not be of interest so they wouldn't even offer it. We also have the option of adding an additional content section where you might have, for example, news and blogs. And you could even do that as a separate section, perhaps leading with a section on news and finishing with a section with a list of open positions. The, the, here are two views of the website. On the left, this is what the website looks like when someone is not logged in. But when they click through to the website from the email newsletter and they come to the website and logged in, the, the same uh, banner that uh, appeared in the email newsletter also shows up uh, in the masthead and at the bottom of each of the articles. On the left here, we're seeing the profile page. Uh, each subscriber can update their information, where it's their name or their telephone number or their selection of sections. They can also turn sections off um, from the email, which I'll show you in just a moment. And all the sections are also, all the articles rather, uh, appear in sections and those sections are available in an archive. Um, so this is the service we provide at IT News and Events. And this URL, itnewsandevents.com, is uh, our blog site. And on that site, you can uh, learn more about the service. Um, you can read through some of the blogs. Uh, why use the service? Um, uh, how to get started, what are the components we need. There's also a link here to the purchase screen. So if you're ready to buy the service, this page or this blog article will tell you how to go through that process. So what I'd like to do now is uh, show you a quick demo. So here is an example of a newsletter in a particular mail client. And uh, the formatting is designed to look good in a wide variety of mail clients. Notice that the uh, volume and issue appears in the title with the newsletter, and the newsletter title can be customized for, for a team edition. And uh, we also include the personalization uh, of who the newsletter has been sent to. Um, you see again the banner, which you saw on the website with uh, my contact information and so forth. Here you can see the link on turning a section off. So for example, if, if I decided that, mm, you know, not really that interested in CRM, I can click on turning this section off. That will take me to the website where it tells me I've disabled that section and it will give me the option to regenerate the newsletter. It's obviously been generated on the web page, but should this newsletter be sent again, um, uh, that particular section, my example is CRM, will not be included. And at the bottom of the newsletter, uh, here, the, if you like, this is the old one that's still in the mail client. There were no sections, well actually I take it back, I, I played with this earlier and disabled a couple of sections. But here we can see that the section that I had just disabled has uh, shown up in the list of disabled sections. That allows a subscriber to know which content uh, was available but they've explicitly disabled. So uh, if a reader uh, clicks on a particular article, it will take them to the slightly longer version on the website and there's the banner repeated. And then from here, they can click on the logo or the read more and actually go to the article. So it's a scan quickly and drill in and, and off they go to the website if they find that article value. So basically, that's a short description of IT news and events service for IT recruiters.